All right, so we're given an improper integral here. I'm going to be pretty lazy and deal with it without bounds first uh, because it's multiple choice and I have that uh, option. And yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and do my u sub without bounds first. My u is definitely a negative x squared, so my du is a negative 2x dx. So I'll end up with a negative 1 half out in front of this thing when I plug in, right? So I'm going to I have this x e to the u, and then my du is going to uh, have a negative 2x on the bottom, so I'll end up with this negative 1 half. So I get negative 1 half the integral of e to the u du, which I get is just uh, a negative 1 half e to the u, right, when I integrate. So knowing that, and again, you're really supposed to use limits because it's an improper integral and that's fine, but it's also multiple choice, so you could be a little bit lazy about this. So I recognize that this is the limit as b approaches infinity of negative one-half e to the negative x squared uh, from one to b, right? Uh, so that's gonna be a negative one-half, uh, and there's a limit in here, b approaches infinity, uh, of e to the negative b squared, which we'll deal with in a sec, uh, minus a negative one-half e to the negative one, right? So the trick here is that as b approaches infinity, this thing, right, so, so, so e to essentially, so it's worth noting just like e uh, to a negative infinity is basically a one over an infinitely large value. This thing's gonna become a zero. So I get plus a one half e to the negative first. That's a one over two e. And that's my answer, which is b.